Hi, my name is Kristen. So what is something that apples, oranges, broccoli, canola oil, cabbage, coffee and potatoes have in common? Well, if you said that I was describing the contents of my latest weekly shop, you'd be correct. But you'd also be correct if you said that they were all insect pollinated plants. In fact, 35% of all the crops that are cultivated rely on insect pollination. But insects also play a vital role in many other aspects of agricultural life. From disease spread to soil health, there's always been a critical link between insect populations and humans. Insects, being the cryptic little things that they are, are notoriously difficult to study. Which is what we need to do so that we can make the most of managing and enhancing the natural capital that they can provide. My research focuses on a technique called DNA metabarcoding to better understand insect populations and the things that they can tell us about the environment. DNA metabarcoding is a technique that allows for rapid and simultaneous identification of organisms. The beauty of it is that you're not only looking at a single organism within a sample, but all the other organisms that it's been into contact with. How it works is it relies on different animals shedding tiny fragments of DNA into the environment. We extract those fragments and sequence them. So this can happen when a bug will land on a flower and it will deposit some of its DNA there. From that we can extract whatever DNA we find and figure out what kind of bug it came from. This technique is what I've been developing throughout the course of my PhD and is something that has many uses from biosecurity to habitat quality assessment. If you are interested in seeing how my research could be implemented in your business or in your sector, or if you're doing research in this area and would like to discuss it with me, feel free to book a meeting. I look forward to talking with you further. Thank you.